Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Since I've got some free time out here, not catching crap, because that's what I was trying to do with the video video that I was working on today, figured I would go over what I keep in my catch and cook bag and box. Now, that stuff is more or less the same. It's just the box obviously has more stuff because it's a little bit bigger and it's you know not as light and all that. But we'll get to showing you real quick. I know something sound bad get to showing you this stuff real quick it's not a lot but if you want a small well small ish compact kind of thing to carry around stuff to do a kitchen cook with really all you need is just a bag full of stuff <laughs> all right this here is my smaller one is the gecko brands waterproof bag it's just you know fold over and you'll know, do that number with the little buckles type thing backpack size it's not really tiny by any means but if you wanted to carry it with you you know a little bit bigger pack or even downsize what's in here you could do that but it's a much lighter option than my bigger box which we'll go over here in just a little bit but again this is just a little drawstring backpack type deal you roll it down swing it around you want to roll it down get it tight as you can to get it more water tight but uh, just buckle her up and you're good to go now what we've got in here is some breading you can use whatever you want to I like this stuff here I honestly think that it could be at least a little bit spicier same stuff it's just the original and then this right here is just the Ozark Trail kit that you can get at Walmart I actually need to clean that pretty bad but you got a little bowl and that one you've got your pan and you've got a little pot which also needs to be cleaned but all of that well that does need to be cleaned <laughs> all of that fits in this nice compact little kit nice and small you could you'd almost put that in your backpack along with just some breading and a uh, thing of fuel and a burner and then some Ziploc bags for, you know, trash and things like that. Some marinade or hot sauce, whatever you want to use. I also have a cutting board in here, which I don't really use that much because I don't really need to. Can of fuel. I usually have one bigger one like that. And then one smaller one like that. And we'll go through that here in just a second. You need some cooking oil. And if you want to be fancy, some plates and spoons and stuff like that. And this little thing here is to be used with your fuel cans. It's kind of aggravating to get it to work right. There we go. Once you snap it down, it gets inside that little lip there and holds your fuel can more stable but we'll leave that to that for now and this little bag here is burners I've got a couple different ones this one here is a smaller option it's just a kit that you can get at Walmart by itself which is actually the little burner itself plus the little stand but this thing you just screw on top of your isobutane can or if you have an adapter, the green cans. You got your little arms here that you know fold out to hold your pan, pot, whatever you're doing. And it's got its own little striker. And then the arm folds up and keeps them from flopping down. Now this one here is the burner that I like the most. Let's set that out of the way. And I've also got some matches in there too. But you've got a little adapter here to use the green cans. And then these things here go in top of this little burner like this. And they sit like that to hold your pan or your pot or whatever. It's got a striker underneath. And this here, you just screw it onto your isobutane can. And you got your valve release and all that so that you can control the heat better. And that's it small you know something you would carry when you're camping something like that instead of a bigger pile of stuff now 
normally i would have paper towels which i don't have paper towels in this bag i've got some in my other one which both of these are usually with me so they just kind of go back and forth but that is my smaller little kit don't weigh a ton i mean it's not light but it doesn't weigh a ton so we'll get to showing you the bigger box here just shortly one other thing i forgot to show you that i had in there definitely helps on windier days i had to get this from amazon and they screwed up the first order but it's a windscreen set it up around your burner you know drawstring there is not helping me none but you set it up around your burner keeps the wind off of it makes your stuff cook a lot better now this behemoth here is my bigger catch and cook box i've seen it a couple times in the older videos but it's where i keep the majority of stuff that i use one thing that i've been wanting to use but i never really get around to using it is this portable disposable charcoal grill you can get them at walmart for just a couple of dollars it comes full of charcoal everything you just use it toss it in the garbage can and you're done now this thing like i said it's got pretty much the same stuff as the bag got my pan it's just a ozark trail pan works perfectly fine got to have your uh, tongs they work i always have to do the clicky and i've got a couple cans of fuel which i don't have any idea how much is in either one of them and i should but i don't paper towels cleaning up of course tons of ziploc bags because why not i don't know why i've got that little cup in there more fuel marinades hot sauces breadings forks plates fire starters oil and that's pretty much it i've got some trash cans and stuff in there or trash bags and stuff in there but it's I, i've got to where i don't use this as much just because the other kit's a little bit easier to use but this is kind of my refill thing now that i've got the other bag that we just showed all right if i get all this stuff back in there with room to spare it'll be a freaking miracle but yeah that's it like i said it's more or less the same stuff as the bag just in a box form and kind of my little refill for it for whenever i run out and this is, uh, sterilite totes this one is the 7.5 gallon 30 quart whatever um you can get them at walmart for just a couple of dollars and that's about it all right y'all that is pretty much it for my little catch and cook box and bag i've been using like i said the bag more since this box is the you know refill for it more or less and it's just makes doing kitchen cooks a whole lot easier especially when you don't have somewhere that's super stable or a lot of room to do it fortunately in this little parking lot here i'm the only one here so i was able to do this and got a little concrete picnic table to set everything up on so it's good and stable and got plenty of room to do it with but if i can remember to i apologize if i don't <laughs> i got the memory of a dirt goldfish i'll link a bunch of stuff in the description so definitely check out all the links especially the top ones those are the more important ones my mule fish and fillet links such and such so anyway hope you like the video thanks for watching